And right now, people across Baltimore City are hoping their car insurance will help them out. The rain uh, flooded several cars, and the wind and lightning and left hail marks all over the place. WMER 2 News' Eddie Kadem live in Patterson Park tonight, where there are trees down all over the place. Yeah, Kelly, I'm just a few blocks away from where the actual park is. We're told that there's trees down all over the area there, and that's the same narrative we're hearing from neighbors. And as we are driving around here in Patterson Park in the Canton area, Fells Point, seeing massive trees like this one either coming down or already down on top of cars, sidewalks, roadways, ripping up flower beds, and people not looking forward to dealing with this when they wake up tomorrow morning. Roadways across Baltimore City quickly becoming raging rivers. But um, there was hail and crazy lightning and thunder. It's been pretty bad. People on East Avenue watching from the high ground. Water so powerful, cars were being carried. Looked out and my car was, couldn't see the tires underwater. When the water finally went down enough to go outside. And we um, opened the car doors and water just flooded out. It was completely submerged. So we've been just trying for the last, I guess, hour or so, trying to clean the water out of it. A few blocks up, trees down all over the Patterson Park area, smashing down on cars, closing down roadways. The guys um, came out with their saws and stuff, electric saws, and they got out because she has to work in the morning and she has a doctor's appointment. So that's what we do in this community. And with all the damage that people were seeing across the area, the water actually went back down pretty quickly. Uh, within an hour, most people were telling us that the water had started to recede or was already completely receded back down into the sewer lines here in the city. So those drainage systems did do well to get rid of that water once it was overflowing in these streets. But still, people having to deal with a massive cleanup as soon as they get up tomorrow morning. Live in Patterson Park, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News.